All right, so we're here on the floor of the 2024 Nanjing Show, and we've got a dealer here. Alana, what is the name of the dealer? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to say that. But they have some really neat things, and、um, I'm going to take you in their booth right now and kind of walk you through some of the things they have. All right, so the first thing that kind of caught my eyes, and I, one of the things about.、Uh, The way that Chinese collect is they tend to have large specimens that are in these carved wooden bases, and you'll see many examples of that in some of the other things I show. Well, here's an example that I thought was very, very different, where the carved base is actually incorporated into the specimen, so it looks like they're peacock feathers, and I thought that was really, really, really kind of cool. And then they have a companion display right here that does the same. I just thought, you know, that's that's actually pretty neat. I'm happy that I'm able to see this. And then I kind of step back and I take a look at all of these malachite specimens. These are、uh, Congolese malachite from the Congo, and I haven't seen a layout like this. At a mineral show in a long, long time. So let me see if we can flick on some lights there, and you can kind of get a better look at some of these pieces. And I think these are the lower end pieces, but you guys know you can find some pieces and trim them and get really neat,、uh, maybe a little bit bigger than toenail size、uh, pieces. And you have to find them. But I mean, the fact that we got this. Ring of light there. Yeah, there's a little bit of. I think that's a contact point or a growth issue there. But look at that one. That looks pretty darn pristine. That's pretty nice. Look at that. And then I'm gonna turn off the lights here so I don't get all the reflection. But look at the ones that they have in the display cases. I mean, these are some really very, very interesting pieces. Yeah, you know, some of these, again, not the American or European style to have them on the bases like that. But sometimes I think you got to look beyond that and just look at the specimen itself. Look at this one. That to me is fascinating. You get this kind of. Cavern- oh, okay. We're going to go ahead and open up the case doors here, and then I'm going to kick on my lights to kind of. Add a little bit of extra oomph, but look at that! That is a piece that I think is actually pretty cool. I'm going to go back up to some of these here. I mean, just wonderful, wonderful shapes here. Look at that! That's nearly pristine. We'd have to do a 360 to see kind of all the different areas. Maybe got a little problem up in that corner there, but I love this. And to maybe trim that out would be a great way of turning that into a nice piece. Here's a neat little thing. Again, you know, you got this decorative wood thing, and you have to understand that's a cultural thing here. That is so much a part of their collecting, but it. It's the home of a very interesting piece that has a shape unlike any kind of malachite that I've seen on our markets in the European or American markets. Another great plate, and then just some superb butterioidal pieces here. And. Typical in the Chinese market, nothing is labeled with prices, because again, it's a cultural thing, and it all comes down to bargaining. That's a big part of any kind of purchasing、um, experience here in Asia. This is just superb. I'm really enjoying that. And again, these are very, very modern cases. These are cases that you'd expect to see anywhere, like in Tucson or Munich or Saint Marie or Denver. 
So the cases are 100% professional cases and just great pieces. Look at this here. Again, in a base that is not the style of American or European collecting, but what an interesting specimen. And then look at that ram's horn. That is really neat. And speaking of ram's horn, I've got a big ram's horn that they have in the center case that we're going to go back to in just uh, just a few seconds after we look at more of their pieces that they have here on exhibit. Uh, I've seen, this is kind of, this is fun. It looks like a calcite bowl and like a rice bowl. And we've seen that kind of motif at different mineral shows, but I love seeing it here. It just kind of reemphasizes the, uh, the love of minerals and kind of the, the little bit of fun that they're all willing to have. Neat little silver up there. Cool fluorites. And, I mean, nice specimens from a company that, well, I still can't pronounce the name, but definitely one that is uh, it's Chinese, but the very nature of the name. Now, this I think is really cool. Look at, look at this copper. Looks like a dragon. And on that base, I actually think that's a brilliant way to display that copper. I wonder if uh, Phil Pershon would feel the same way. We all know that uh, he is passionate about his coppers. And so look at those two pieces. I just love the way that those present themselves. Again, different from American and European, but lovely nonetheless and this is more kind of along the lines of what we associate with chinese collecting much bigger pieces on those wooden bases so it's interesting to see and you'll see that this is a theme that's repeated over and over throughout the show it seems like the dealers are understanding that there are different kinds of tastes and they're accommodating both the older traditional way and kind of the newer, let's just say American, European way. Look at that big piece there. And some of these are just pristine pieces. And so if you go back to the opening of the video, I think you'll be able to see the phone number there. And uh, if you need to contact them, you can. Now, interesting, I asked them about business cards and they don't have any business cards. So I don't know if that's a cultural thing that they don't expect sales beyond the show or they just ran out, but that's, now this is kind of cool. That thumb that you see there is actually a wood carving. So the base makes it look like a complete hand with a, a, a wrist scarf flapping in the wind. And tell me that that doesn't just look perfectly at home there. So to me, it would be very interesting to see if we took this company with their cases as is and pop them into Tucson like at you know, the main show or at something like Mineral City, how they would do. And I think they do pretty well. We got uh, Colombian mango ports right there. And that's a, that's a pretty nice piece. And look at the fluorites here. Look at the glow of that. Come on. This is, this is some, some pretty nice stuff. Now we're gonna go over to this I'd mentioned ram's horn before. Look at that spread. I've never seen so many on a single specimen that just looks so undamaged. Yeah, it is quite large, but very interesting piece to look at. All right, that's going to be it.